How you going RPG fans? This is yet again another unboxing video. Uh, my good friend on YouTube, Murugaru553, has sent me yet another package. Now he found some really amazing stuff um, through the course of uh, the last half of the year and he's been adding things in this little pile and he finally sent it to me so I just want to say Taylor thank you so much. Now I did have a bit of a debacle trying to get it say because usually I, a courier or the postman comes to my front door they knock and they give me the package I signed for it. Uh, today was an exception. They just sent me a little card and I went to pick it up from the post office which I thought was a bit weird because I didn't even get a knock or anything and uh, I don't know if there's something going on with the mail service here but anyway I got it and I gotta say guys this is without a doubt one of the biggest I've had it's super friggin heavy so without further ado let's get into this bad boy alrighty done uh, so let's open up and see what lies within. A note! Oh, he just sent me a note! Oh. Ah, just kidding, guys. So, before I dig into what's in here, I'll read this. Finally, fellow Falcon fanatic, you will now have even more awesome Falcon things. I hope you enjoy the contents of this box as much as I think you will. Joking aside, thanks Greg for all the chats, listening to my mad banter and the recommendations. Thank you, I always enjoy talking with you and hearing what you have to say. As always, I look forward to the future chats and all the love I know we'll have for Cell Setter. From one Falcon fanatic to another, take care, Taylor. Thanks man, and I just could see automatically just so many glorious things, just so many beautiful things. First up, here's a piece of apparel that I don't usually wear. I'm a big sunglass guy, I'm a big jacket guy. Now, here's a piece of clothing I usually don't wear, but I will make an exception for special occasions. And what this is, is an E7 wristband from Falcom. And this is beyond awesome. It's got the E7 logo in gold thread. And then right at the back, it's got the Falcom logo. Very awesome. I shall wear this probably in videos and special events you know, in Brisbane and Sydney and all that, but definitely thank you for that. Hello, this is interesting. Oh, <laughs> oh that, is, that is fantastic. The irony is just astounding. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh wow, oh wow, it's a little bag of Dragon Quest 2, and why it's funny is because I like Dragon Quest 2, but the final battle, the final dungeon is near impossible, and I think I remember talking to Taylor how much I raged when I played the Super Nintendo version, it's just nearly impossible, so it, it, it has, I, I would say, uh, I wouldn't say a curse, but it's one of those games where I never hear it, I cringe. But don't take my word for it, Dragon Quest 2 is a good game. But what lies inside is some very awesome stuff. Oh my god. Oh, I can't believe you did it. <laughs> now, two of the games I know it was going to give me, and I've been waiting a long time, and that is a copy of Zero no Kiseki and the follow-up Al no Kiseki, which translates to Trails of Zero and Trails of Blue. However, he's no, he knows that I've wanted this for a very long time, and he just helped me out and sent me East versus Sono no Kiseki, which is the Falcom fighting game that uses the East 7 engine. Dude, thank you! I thought I was going to get like the best version paid for cheap, but you saved me and got a fresh first release copy so uh, you know a million thank you because I think as soon as this video is done I'm gonna pop this in and have some fun playing with adult and everyone else it's so awesome oh wow is there 
Oh my god, it's the medallion! Dragon Quest, I think it's the... Uh, the, um... The symbol for Roto. Oh, that's cool! No, no, it's not in that quest, it's a keychain. It's a keychain. Oh man, that, that's just... Fantastic. For all of you that don't know, besides being a Falcon fan, I am a crazy Dragon Quest fan. And I will do videos on that in the future, but... You know, it's awesome to get some Dragon Quest stuff as well. It's so amazing. Oh man. Should, should I show this now? No, there's something I don't want to show you later on. But second, let's have a look. Let's get this sucker out. When he told me that he got this for me, I... I must admit, I was a happy little fanboy. There's a shirt going around for the 25th anniversary of East, and it's a t-shirt that states what I'm thinking 24-7, and that is, uh, I love e-shirt, or I should say, uh, I goddess e-shirt. Dude, thank you so much. This is something that I shall wear with pride in future videos. And this, that is so awesome. It's got the I goddess east on the front, and then, very cool, it's got the Rota tree with the Claria sword. Since 1987, 25th anniversary. Man, I couldn't think of anything better, you know. It's funny, the East 25th anniversary has felt more like my birthday than my actual birthday. So, you know, it's just been a blast. Now, this is probably the first thing that he got me. Now, I've wanted this for a long time. This is considered to be one of the holy grails of any East collector. Now, I know a few people, including Taylor and Happy Console Gamer, actually has this. And now I do. And that is the East Complete 1 and 2 Special Edition. Oh, thank you so much. When he told me he found this and specifically got it for me, I, I just thought that was the greatest favour a friend could do. You know, uh, this will be on my shelf, sitting on my shelf with pride. And I probably will unwrap this at the end of the video, so I'll push this to the side, but it just looks beautiful. I mean, it's in a gold case, but it's in a, like a, I would say, a close to be a leather sort of book. Okay, so, man, that is awesome. Alrighty. Next up, he's actually sent me some pamphlets, which he usually does, and I really do love when I get sent pamphlets, because I love preserving gaming memorabilia. Info. So first up, oh nice, you know, Shinobi, which is one of my favorite Sega brands, and I actually did get the 3DS Shinobi game, so very very cool. Good old Metal Gear Solid Forker, and a lot of other Metal Gear games. So thank you for that. It's even got a timeline of Metal Gear, but it's the wrong channel for that. So we'll do another one. Professor Layton game. Pretty cool. Oh, a game that I'm waiting for and I possibly will import. And that is... Nayata no Kiseki. Which is the Trails first action RPG. It plays a lot like an East game. But it's a Trails game. And it looks fantastic. I've seen a lot of the trailers. And I can't wait till it comes out. I know Taylor is waiting for it to hand some. This is a cool pamphlet, I must admit. I like Nintendo, they like to go all out. And probably the biggest game from Nintendo I'm waiting for them to release, and that is Fire Emblem Awakening. And if you can't see, this is actually metallic. It's silver and it's shiny. It's fantastic. I would, I'd love to preserve this more than anything else. And it's got how to play the game and various screenshots. Very, very awesome. This brings up a sour subject over the recent um, weeks, but here's a pamphlet for Persona 4 the Arena in my, yeah, Persona 4 the Ultimate in my Anaka Arena. Um, I don't want to get into why I'm kind of peed off at Atlas, but I will just say thanks to Taylor for getting this for me. Um, I'm a Persona fan at heart, I just think what Atlas has recently done has made me for the first time question them. So. 
very cool booklet for the Vita version of Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. Oh! Way to rub it in, good sir. This is a pamphlet for Time Travels, which is a Heavy Rain type game made by Level 5, and it's on PSP, the 3DS, and the Vita, and thankfully the Vita is region free, so I might get a copy for my Vita when I get it. Now, I'm really looking forward to the game, but I was really disappointed because this was the number one game that I was waiting for level 5, and I was wishing it to be an RPG. However, it still looks like a fantastic game, so RPG or no, I'm still going to play it. Yet another pamphlet for Nayeta no Kiseki. Oh man, it's one of those very cool Nintendo pamphlet books for Zelda Skyward Sword. Very awesome. And lastly, Metal Gear Solid 3D Snake Eater. Very, very, very cool. So there's a lot of stuff in there to make the Harpy G fan of me happy and the Kojima fan happy. So thank you so much. Now, get all the pamphlets. Here's something very small, but I would say it's better than all those pamphlets. And it is a bookmark from Falcon for East Cell Setter. Now, I'm going to not only case that in a folder, that'll be case to die. Or I probably will use that to read these books right here. Now I didn't know he was going to give me some books, so this is going to be interesting, and I have an idea what he got me. First up, some little more books. Oh, you're going to be joking me! Yes! Oh my god! Oh, thank you! This is the official strategy guide for my favorite game of all time, Densa Suikoden 2. And it's funny, as much as I love Falcom and I love all their games, nothing has measured up to Suikoden 2. It's still my favorite game of all time, and I've lost count of how many times I've played it. Oh, dude, it's got all the stars and pictures and, you know, stats on all the characters you play. Fantastic, thank you so much! I totally was not expecting you. This will be on my bookshelf with pride. And last but not least, I knew he was gonna get this for me. Oh, you spoil me! And that is the Falcon Chronicle that they released for the 30th anniversary. Oh man, thank you so much. It's huge, look at it! They hit someone over the head and knock them out. Oh god. And is there anything else? Like a million dollars? Because that wouldn't be better than the stuff you got me. <laughs> Seriously, thank you so much for everything. I mean, I think this is the best stuff that I've gotten in ages with Aero stuff as well, because Aero did me a huge favor with all those same games. So to both Taylor and Aero, two of my biggest friends on YouTube, thank you so much. You helped this. Poor little RPG fan out immensely. Ah, uh, you know what? I couldn't show this book just in this video. I'd have to have an entire video just dedicated to talking about this book after I've glanced at it. You know, just open it up for a couple seconds. Oh my god, it just... It has so much memorabilia automatically that I've never seen before. Like, I stripped down the bottom there for Xanadu and various other... Falcon characters, like there's characters from Brandish, characters from Popful Mail, just... Oh, I'm gonna have a field day just glancing at this, so Taylor, thank you so much. Now, as I promised, at the end of the year, I will open up the complete collection. Very carefully. I got this from Hard Off, and very cool, because I always, when I go to Japan, I always want to go to Hard Off and find some bargains, you know. Let's open it up. Oh, this is beautiful. This is amazing. Let's see. You open up. And this is a manual for East 2. 
I think it's a comment card. Very awesome. And of course, East 1 and 2 install disk and game disk. Now something I just realized is the OVA discs are not in here. Uh, what happens with the special edition of East 1 and 2 Complete, there's the game disc and the install disc, then there's the OAVs, OVAs I should say. Um, so what the previous owner did before they sold this to Hardoff must have taken the OVA discs out and kept them for themselves, but hey, I prefer the games over the anime. <laughs> Very much so, so this is more than complete enough for me, so thank you Taylor so so much. You know, it's just awesome to have, you know, a piece of my East collection that looks like a book of East. And if you've played the game, you know what I'm talking about. So, again, thank you. I mean, I'm not going to lie, guys. This is probably the number one item that I've wanted for my East slash Falcom collection for a very long time. So, it's just awesome to finally see that fulfilled with the help of Taylor's. Man, so many cool things I've got now, and I can't wait to play and read and just admire all this great stuff, you know. Just, again, Taylor, for the gazillionth time, thank you, good sir. I will most definitely in the future return the favor. Uh, not just to you, to Aero, to all my friends on YouTube, you know, guys. Thank you so much. You know, I've said this once, I've said it before, this is the greatest community on the internet. The best gaming community on the internet, period, so... Guys, that's it for now. I'm going to get cracking on playing some East vs. Sora no Kiseki, so... Till next time, enjoy your games.